Good to have you with us today for the program. Puerto Rico has effectively pulled the trigger on its own bankruptcy. It's the first time in history a U.S. state or territory has taken such a measure and is now expected to bring about a fierce legal battle. The Caribbean islands are in the red to the tune of $123 billion. And what now lies ahead is highly unpredictable. The U.S. Supreme Court is now expected to appoint a judge to the case as Puerto Rico is not even permitted to declare bankruptcy by itself. However, it's unclear how much help the island might get. Donald Trump repeatedly refused to offer any bailout to Puerto Rico during his election campaign. I will tell you that Puerto Rico has too much debt. So you can't just restructure. You have to use the laws. You have to cut the debt way down and get back to business because they can't survive with the kind of debt they have. So, no, I would not bail out if I were, if I were in that position. Puerto Ricans are considered U.S. citizens but don't actually enjoy full rights unless they move to the U.S. mainland. And Puerto Rico's representative in Congress is a non-voting delegate as well, and all imports to the island are first overseen by Washington officials. Now, Puerto Ricans are deeply unhappy about the crisis uh, and uh, what they uh, see is well, what they're calling the uh, harmful influence of imperialism. Meanwhile, the island is set to hold a referendum regarding its political status on the 11th of June. Initially, there were two options to vote for, uh, independence or to apply for statehood. However, the Trump administration recommended maintaining the current status be added as a third option. And we spoke to a professor of Latin American and uh, Caribbean studies, Daniel Shaw, who feels Puerto Rico is a colonial possession in the 21st century. When one arrives in Puerto Rico, one sees the U.S. flag before they see the Puerto Rican flag. And if you land in Ponce or San Juan, one of the first things you might see is 1,000 or 2,000 U.S. troops. This is 21st century colonialism. This is neo-colonialism. Puerto Ricans don't have control over their economic, cultural, or political future. Definitely more people are becoming uh, radicalized with these austerity measures and all of the cuts to workers' pensions and public services. More and more people are extremely upset, and this can only radicalize them and bring them to the logical conclusion that as long as Puerto Rico is a colonia, a colony, there'll be no justice for everyday uh, Puerto Rican people.